Welcome back farmhouse friends and thanks so much for stopping by the farmhouse. We are going to talk about today a little ambiguous phrase that appears on the back of your seed packet. If you are new here, thanks so much for stopping by the farmhouse. Please take a moment to subscribe, ring that notification bell. We would love to have you come along for all our farmhouse adventures. And if you are a subscriber, great to see you. Thanks so much for coming back by the farmhouse. Let's jump into today's video. So you have your seed packets and you're looking down the back and you're trying to learn the specific planting instructions. Some of them will say plant after the last frost and that depends on the area that you live in, the zone that you live in. And if you go to almanac.com and you put in your zip code, I believe it will tell you where your last frost date is and it's safe to plant outside. Some will say plant outside after that threat of that last frost and some will say at a certain soil temperature and some will say plant as soon as the soil can be worked now what exactly does that mean does that leave you completely confused and full of uncertainty it happens to the best of us friends and today i'm going to share with you exactly what that phrase means and how you can determine when your soil can be worked now the reason for all this uncertainty is because the time when the soil can be worked varies greatly every time. Now I like looking back at my memories and I can tell that last year we may have had a foot of snow and now it's 60 degrees or maybe last year it was 60 degrees and now we have a foot of snow on the ground. It varies every year and because of that they really can't tell you if the season's been wet, if the season's been dry. So here are some tips on how to measure what the soil is like. If you're planting in a raised bed such as this, it's a little easier to do the soil test and get a quicker result. But we know people plant in other beds so we're going to check the big garden as well. To test the workability of your soil in a raised bed such as this, all you're going to do is take a little amount of soil here and you're going to put it in your hand. I'm going to pull off the weed. And you're just going to smush it as if you're mixing dough. Now that you've got it formed into a ball, you just want to give a little pressure. If it breaks apart with a little bit of pressure, it's good to plant. Let me show you that a little more close up. So here we just give it a squeeze and then break it apart and if it's that easy now you don't want to use a ton of pressure here just a little bit a little squeeze and a little pressure not trying to compact it we're just trying to break it apart real softly and if it does that it's it's ready look at how ready this soil is the reason we don't want to overwork soil especially when it's wet is because of the structure of the soil. A lighter, sandier soil, you can get away with planting it when it's a little damper, but if you have clay in your soil and you do this, and with a little bit of pressure, it doesn't break away. When that soil dries, as you can see here, we have a clump here and a clump here and a clump here. The wetter your soil is when you work it, the harder those lumps become and then they're impossible to break up. And you won't have a nice texture like this to plant in. You can even see that there is some amount of little rough spots. The drier your soil, the better it is. Now, if you've had a rainy season, then your soil is gonna be wetter and it's gonna take long to be able to be worked. Let's go see what this looks like in the big garden. So out here in larger spaces where the soil has not been amended as much it's a little denser and therefore we need a little different technique to measure the moisture and the structure of the soil. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to put our shovel in the ground and pull it up. And you can see if it sticks to the shovel, it's still a little wet here. And if you break it up, we're still experiencing some big clods here. So this area is going to have to wait a little while longer. You certainly don't want to bring a rototiller out here and start digging and creating large clumps because that's how the soil will dry in these big clumps and then it will be impossible to get your seeds into the ground and get them to grow correctly. You want to wait until you can make this into a super fine powder. 
As you can see, this particular soil here is very sandy. It's not really wet at all. In fact, when I do the test with the soil, I take it and it just, just barely touch it and it just crumbles so very nicely. In fact, you can see that it hardly even makes a ball. It doesn't even form a shape. So this is absolutely perfect for planting, especially those tiny seeds like carrots and radish and lettuces. This is great. Now, when you plant, be sure to do this test the day you plant because if you get a rain in between the time you test and you plant, you're gonna have to test again just to make sure the soil hasn't gotten too wet or too heavy. Well, friends, there you have it. Just a very simple technique that you can do to check the texture and the moisture in your soil. And that will tell you just exactly when your soil can be worked. If you have garden friends that need this information, please feel free to share this video on all your social media. Look at me over on Instagram if you're not following me over there at Bloomo Home and Garden for all the updates around the farm every day. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Be safe, be blessed, and we'll see you soon.